Welcome guys, today we will discuss about the finite difference method uh, having transient flow over a flat plate uh, and we will use uh, MATLAB and uh, uh, this is actually a boundary value problem and uh, application of uh, boundary value problems and uh, so start with uh, the problem. The contents of today topic is uh, first of all we will uh, discuss about the problem. Uh, define our, uh, we will define our problem and then uh, we will uh, discretize it uh, by using finite difference method and then uh, at the end we will uh, use MATLAB uh, and uh, do the coding uh, for this problem. So problem definition, uh, let's suppose we have a, a fluid which is at rest initially and that uh, where the time is zero and then uh, plate set in motion means we have to uh, we have started to uh, move the plate and then the fluid uh, uh, also move with the uh, plate due to uh, no slip boundary condition uh, and uh, the problem is unsteady flow uh, and the assumptions are the fluid taken is uh, we have taken the newtonian fluid and uh, the fluid is also incompressible and there is infinite fluid in y direction uh, y direction is uh, vertical dimension and x uh, axis is horizontal dimension and similarly there is an infinite fluid in x direction and the velocities uh, v y the components uh, y component and z component of the velocity are taken as zero and uh, there is uh, x component i mean the, there is a flow of velocity in x direction and this uh, x component of velocity is a function of y and temp uh, time because there is a change uh, in y direction and there is a change in velocity with respect to time as well. So as we have uh, mentioned earlier that this is a time dependent flow of uh, Newtonian fluid so uh, there is change in uh, y direction as well as in time. So let's write uh, some governing equation of this particular situation and uh, in Cartesian uh, coordinates. So first of all the continuity equation mm, as we have taken incompressible fluid so uh, the change in density with respect to time uh, would be zero similarly uh, the x component of velocity uh, is not varying in uh, downstream direction uh, there is no velocity in y direction as well and uh, there is no uh, velocity in z direction as well so this uh, all the terms uh, in continuity equation uh, will become zero uh, similarly these are the momentum equation in all the uh, three directions uh, that we have taken so solving the x component momentum equation uh, these are this is the um, uh, transient term of the velocity gradient uh, and as we have taken uh, x component of velocity which is varying uh, with respect to y and time and there is no velocity uh, in y uh, direction as well as uh, in z direction so uh, y and z components of the velocity are taken as zero similarly the uh, pressure is uh, not a function of uh, x direction and gravity we have also neglected the gravity effect so neglecting the terms uh, this uh, term of uh, x momentum equation would become zero. Uh, similarly, this equation is also zero because we are taking y, uh, y component velocity is zero. And similarly, this term would also be zero. This term is zero because vx is uh, independent of uh, x. Mm, we can see here that vx is uh, dependent on y only. So this term will, will also become zero. Similarly, this uh, there is no pressure uh, gradient we have taken, and uh, v x is zero in uh, with respect to uh, x direction. So this term will also become zero, and this term will also become zero, as uh, v x is not function of z. Uh, so we are left with only this term uh, in which uh, there is transient term, and uh, and second one is this in which uh, v x is changing with respect to y. And similarly, uh, the gravity, there is no gravity uh, effect to be studied. So this term will also become zero. So finally, we, we have uh, we have got uh, 
this equation simplify equation and now uh, we will uh, discretize this uh, finally obtained equation so the initial conditions are at time zero uh, are very uh, initially uh, the vx is zero means the mm, x component of velocity is zero for all the values of y and the boundary conditions are at y is equal to zero the vx is uh, any constant value and similarly for uh, at infinite uh, uh, value of y the vx is zero and similarly for infinite uh, r after a significant uh, period of time the vx also become equal to uh, initial velocity or the velocity of the plate so moving towards the finite difference method uh, this was the uh, final equation which we have obtained after simplifying the continuity and momentum equation and after that we uh, have to uh, expand these uh, terms by Taylor series so by using the forward difference method we can see uh, that this is the uh, basic formula for discretization uh, and uh, these are the higher order terms in which we uh, are increasing uh, the higher order uh, order of the equation uh, in order to get a uh, higher accuracy similarly this is the equation for center difference uh, and th this equation is for transient term i mean we have to uh, we have discretized this transient term and uh, here this is formula is used here I mean we have to discretize both these uh, uh, terms uh, first one is a uh, transient term and the second one is a uh, special variation term so these are the general formulas uh, which we have uh, uh, simplified this uh, uh, expression and then after some uh, mathematical digging or we have simplified uh, this equation and get the um, velocity of uh, of uh, x component so uh this uh, subscript is uh, basically for uh, uh, velocity at a specific point uh, in x direction whereas uh, the super subscript is for time means uh, n plus one mean the uh, number of uh, nth node uh, uh, point which is next to the nth point in uh, in the time and similarly these uh, these are the simplified formula in which uh, this alpha denotes the uh, stability uh, sorry the diffusivity uh, which uh, which is equal to uh, this kinematic viscosity and the uh, ratio of uh, delta t over the square of delta y delta uh, y sorry the delta t could be constant or it could be uh, some uh, some function of uh, polynomial function and similarly this uh, may also depend upon how you discretize your uh, domain and uh, these are the some higher order terms uh, which is totally dependent how much uh, accuracy you want for your solution so proceeding to our, this is our main equation which we uh, use uh, in uh, MATLAB so this is basically the explicit approach in which uh, this is the uh, x uh, axis and this is the time domain and vertically you move towards uh, means you um, time marching direction and in horizontally you move towards the um, uh, x or special variation so if we have at this point this is uh, basically n then if you have to uh, incorporate next time step so this uh, would be uh, nth plus one time step after uh, some delta t similarly if this is the ith uh, x point in the spatial direction then this uh, would be a point uh, before the ith point uh, and the delta x in the special variation or yes, or, uh, x direction is constant similarly this is the point uh, which is after this ith uh, point in the x direction so this is how you use the explicit approach in order to uh, use the finite difference method so these are the properties uh, known at time level and means uh, this is the nth level of the time similarly uh, this would be the nth plus one level and you have to calculate the properties uh, for n plus one and similarly uh, in higher uh, levels you add uh, one level in nth 
similarly if you uh, move towards x direction so there will be uh, adding uh, one level in uh, x direction or special variations so this is the, uh, our main problem in which uh, a semi infinite body of liquid uh, with its constant properties of density and viscosity is taken on horizontal surface initially there was uh, the plate was stationary and then uh, after some uh, time uh, the x uh, the plate is set in motion uh, in positive x direction with some constant velocity which is v naught and uh, we also have assumed that there is no pressure gradient or uh, gravity force in x direction and flow is also assumed to be laminar and we have to determine the velocity as a function of y and time this is the stability criteria of uh, von neumann in which uh, we have to uh, uh, take the ratio of delta t or uh, square of uh, delta y and uh, multiplied by uh, some mm, diffusivity or you can say that conductivity when dealing with the uh, heat transfer problem and then the value of all these uh, terms must be less than 0.5 uh, if uh, the product of these terms uh, is less than the 0.5 then you say that the system is stable and if the value is greater than 0.5 then the system is unstable and this uh, term is dependent upon uh, how much uh, you uh, discretize the time domain or the uh, spatial domain so basically it all depends upon this this number uh, this number is basically uh, if you have taken 2500 then it means that uh, you have divided uh, time steps uh, into uh, one divided one is total time and 2500 is number of time steps so the mm, the incremental time uh, you can say that incremental time is 1 over 2500 and similarly the incremental uh, spatial variation or delta in y direction is 1 over 50 50 is the number of uh, steps in uh, total number of division or total number of uh, uh, node points in uh, in x or y direction is uh, sorry in y direction is uh, 50 and total length you have taken is equal to 1 so delta y would become 1 over 50 and uh, this is the alpha which is uh, diffusivity and is equal to 1.21 uh, 10 to raise power 5 so this uh, this is the way in uh, through which you can uh, check whether the system is stable or not if the system is unstable then uh, your results uh, would not be valid so now uh, come towards the matlab so this is the matlab and uh, first of all you have to uh, you have to uh, set a length of uh, total length of the plate so we have uh, selected uh, uh, the total length of the plate equals to 1 and then uh, the total time is also 1 uh, means we uh, are studying uh, the total the problem for total time of 1 uh, uh, unit time so after that this is the max k uh, these are the total number of time steps which are equals to 2500 total time uh, increment uh, would become equal to t divided by uh, total number of time steps and similarly for uh, space steps the total number of space steps are 50 and incremental or uh, delta in uh, y direction it becomes l over and l is equals to 1 which is the length of the plate and then the uh, we have divided the length of plate by uh, total number of uh, space steps which are 50 so next uh, this is the diffusivity which is equal to 1 over 4 and uh, this is the formula for uh, to check the stability of uh, of uh, your system which is equals to diffusivity and this is the delta t and this is the uh, del square of the delta y and then uh, we are uh, defining our uh, initial conditions of velocity uh, for which we have used for loop so for loop uh, and this uh, here we are uh, defining our uh, steps for loop uh, which are starting from 1 and uh, and at n plus 1 and this is the uh, y ith and we have uh, multiplied by 
i minus 1 into dy dy is the uh, steps uh, incremental step in uh, y direction and we have to multiply it by with the uh, i minus 1 and this is the basically uh, <coughs> initial velocity which we have set is equal to uh, 0 for all these uh, values of y means uh, for as initial condition of velocity uh, we have set velocity is equal to 0 for all the values of these y and i will start from 1 and will end up to n minus 1 but uh, here we have uh, uh, already subtracted minus 1 so um, it would become a and these are the boundary condition uh, for bounding addition, we have used for loop and loop start from the uh, value of k from 1 to uh, 1 plus maximum k. So there are two bounding condition. Uh, the first one is at the bottom of the plate where the velocity is maximum. And for that we have used uh, uh, u is equal to 1 uh, for all uh, values of uh, k. And similarly, uh, the velocity at uh, uh, n plus 1 which is uh, n plus 1 time uh, level and the value of uh, velocity at uh, uh, upper point of the uh, velocity uh, of y direction uh, equal to zero so now we will uh, use uh, explicit method uh, after using initial and boundary conditions uh, for implementation of explicit method we have to use uh, for loop uh, within for loop so there would be uh, two loops uh, the, the main loop is for uh, time loop and the inner loop is for space loop the time loop will start from uh, 1 to maximum k and similarly the space loop will start from a value of 2 to n because for uh, one the value of 1 is for uh, boundary conditions and so we have to start from 2 and 2 uh, which goes to up to n so the velocity uh, the um, for space loop we uh, define uh, the velocity and this velocity the expression velocity expression is uh, basically the disc uh, obtained from uh, discretizing the a simplified form of uh, if we move uh, we can check from this so basically this was the equation which we have uh, obtained from uh, uh, discretization of simplified form of the uh, momentum equations or grinding equations so this was the final form of the discretization uh, in which uh, the first term is a uh, velocity component at x point and the level of time is nth plus 1 and the second time is uh, the velocity component at same point of x and uh, for uh, time level of uh, nth time level and we uh, then we are adding uh, diffusivity and then in bracket uh, there is three terms and the first term is uh, uh, the velocity component uh, just before the uh, ith point and uh, the time level for all these all the three terms uh, is same which is nth whereas there is uh, uh, different points in uh, space so first point is uh, i minus one the center is uh, ith point and uh, third one is ith plus one so we are using a center difference so we have to take a difference uh, uh, the point which is uh, before the i point and the next which is uh, next to i point so returning to our uh, matlab file here this is the uh, u for velocity term uh, which is i uh, x plus 1 and this is the um, i velocity then this is the uh, b for diffusivity of the uh, fluid and then this term is uh, ith minus 1 and this is term which is uh, after the ith point and then uh, we have uh, taken the ith velocity and with minus 2 multiply so this is the way uh, by which we have uh, applied the implementation uh, of explicit method and then uh, we have a graphical representation of velocity uh, in which we are trying to plot the velocity at uh, various points of uh, uh, time and uh, and y direction so this is at uh, delta t is equal to 1 this is for delta t is equal to 
hundred and this three hundred and this one is for six hundred and uh, this is the velocity component and this shows that we have uh, taken the for uh, all values of uh, x uh, sorry y and this is uh, for time mean delta t is equal to one and this shows the color pattern or uh, simply the form of a line and similarly this is the second command which uh, basically we are using uh, multiple commands in single plot and then this is the title of the figure one and these uh, are the labels x and y label and then these are the legends so let's try to uh, run this file so after running uh, we have obtained uh, this figure uh, this line is basically the uh, for del uh, in which the delta t is one and then this is the line where the delta t is 100 and similarly the yellow one line is for delta t is equal to 300 and we can say that uh, by increasing the delta t we are uh, proceeding towards the uh, towards the steady state line uh, let's take uh, uh, let insert the value of 2500 and then save and run the file just to check so this is a line for 2500 and uh, let also change the legends so running this file this line is basically for 2500 in which we can see that this is a straight line and by increasing the time step we are uh, marching towards this uh, straight line which is steady state solution whereas these parabolic solution are for transient terms so it means that when uh, we only discretize the uh, special 1D we uh, obtained or uh, for steady state we obtained this straight line whereas uh, whenever we introduce a uh, transient term uh, we obtain parabolic profile. Uh, these are the uh, flow in un uh, fluid in unsteady flow uh, means you have obtained the right profile. These are basically the simplified form in which uh, first other uh, derivative is transient term. And so if we uh, neglect this term, mean we are going to steady state uh, solution. And when we only discretize this term, uh, we will obtain a straight line. Whereas uh, when we uh, want to account for transient term as well, we will obtain the uh, parabolic profile. So this was all from my side.